Hey everyone, this is Ryan here. I've got an interesting problem for y'all. See if you can figure out in which step the fallacy lies. First off, we start off with a equals b. Now since a equals b, we can say that a squared equals a times b. Now we add a squared to both sides, and we get a squared plus a squared equals a squared plus a b. Now it's a squared plus a squared equals 2a squared, so we get 2a squared equals a squared plus a b. Now we subtract 2ab from both sides, and we get 2a squared minus 2ab equals a squared minus a b. Now we factor out a common GCF of 2 from the left hand side, and a 1 from the right hand side of the equation, and finally, we divide both sides by a squared minus a b. And we get 2 equals to 1. Now clearly, this is an absurd proof. Now where did the mistake happen? Pause the video to find out. The problem appears in this step, where we divide both sides by a squared minus 2ab. However, division only makes sense when the number you are dividing by is non-zero. In this proof, a squared minus ab equals zero, because we assumed in step one that a equals b. Therefore, it is not legitimate to divide both sides of the equation by a squared minus ab, because that would be division by zero, which does not make any sense. In essence, this proof boils down to saying one times zero equals to two times zero, therefore one equals two, which is not correct. So did you figure it out? Thank you for watching this video, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.